I know everyone's been eagerly awaiting all of this content. We have so much to cover in this new season. And we're excited to jump right in. I'm Cassie. I'm Dylan. And welcome to the Discover Universal podcast. And Dylan, I love our parks here, but you know what else I really, really love? Can I take one guess? Go ahead. Or can I take two guesses? Go ahead. Hotels. Yes. And hotels. Yep, that is right. we're talking about two hotels today, aren't we? <laughs> we are. Two of our newest hotels that we have here on property, which I know Michelle has the names of those hotels. Michelle, what are they? We have Universal Stella Nova Resort and Universal Terra Luna Resort. Yes. Okay, so that's two. That's, that's two. Wild. That's two, yeah. And we had the chance to tour them. We did. It was amazing. It was, and you can't miss it when you roll up. Man. You cannot. You yeah. cannot. So if you're driving past Universal Epic Universe and you see those two really big, colorful buildings, that's exactly what we're talking about. I'm extra excited about these hotels because Universal and Lowe's, our partner, does hotels so incredibly well. And I've had the chance to stay at Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel before. Have you stayed on property here? Actually, I did stay at the uh, at Universal Cabana Bay Beach Resort. Okay. And also Universal Aventura Hotel nice. as well, which like the, the Aventura view is crazy. Yeah. Like being able to see the volcano from where I was, the yeah. way I did was awesome to see. I think so. But we have some guests joining us to talk more about that who have been involved in the project. Yeah, we do. We have Jessica Iconis and Russ Dagan coming out to, to let us know all the inside stuff. So I'm really excited for it. Yeah. Should we bring them in? We should. Well, hey, friends, we have today two very important people. We have Russ and Jessica with us. How are you guys doing today? Doing great. Doing Good. great. Would you guys be against uh, introducing yourselves and telling us a little bit? No, my name is uh, Russ Dagan. I'm Senior Vice President of Resort Development here at Universal Creative, uh, working on all hotels and um, attractions. And I'm Jessica Iaconis. I'm the Assistant Director of Facility Design for the hotel team with Universal Creative. Awesome. awesome. And, and you both have been with the company for a little bit, right? Quite a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah 13 years yeah, for me. Yeah, some, a little north of 20 for me. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, we have two resorts we're talking about today. Can you both tell us a little bit about the backstory and theming and inspiration behind those two resorts? Yeah, so we are talking about Universal Stella Nova Resort and Universal Terra Luna Resort. Um, they're loosely tied to our Epic Universe Park that's opening up. Um, that is a little more... Uh, deep into kind of the cosmos, but here we're just thinking about the awe and wonder of space and Stella Nova Resort. We're focusing on kind of all the celestial beings in the universe, and we're focusing more on terrestrial planetary imagery and um, terrain for Terra Luna Resort. So what are some of the benefits uh, of staying here? Like, And more importantly, what's the pool like? Because I got to know. Yeah, I think, I mean, all of our properties, that's one of the things that we really pride ourselves on. Every one of our properties has an amazing pool. And, and we recognize that a significant number of our guests, when they visit Florida, that's going to be the focus. So um, the pools are relatively simple, but beautiful resort-style pools. So there's no, I wouldn't say there's any real space inspiration for our pools. It's it's straightforward, forward Florida yeah. for the most part. <laughs> we uh, We usually pull our guests what they want, you know, in their resorts. And it's always beach themed, right? So we've mm -hmm. come up with a lot of different beach themes over the years. Uh, so I don't know. Now we have space beach. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's always the thing too. When you visit Florida as a kid, I grew up in Wisconsin. And when you came to Florida, it was a real novelty to see a palm tree. So you mm -hmm. have to do yeah. that. There's, there's yeah. no way out. You have to have palm trees. So nice. Oh my gosh. That was one thing I found really interesting uh, when we got to visit was the idea of how this whole thing was constellation mm -hmm. uh, uh, space themed, if you will, and then you can go outside and then you're you're back at a at a great Florida resort, which is really really cool. I thought that was uh, the juxtaposition yeah. of that was really awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Well, speaking of exterior, being outside, we got to see the amazing tiles up close, which I feel like Dylan and I have driven past the resort so many times, <laughs> yeah. and we're like, we have to get up close to this and see this. So can you all tell us a little bit about the tiles outside? I mean, just the story of how they're constructed and put together is so fascinating. How, how did we find them in the first place. Do you remember? Yeah, we had a, a concept architect that brought them kind of to the table. We want, we knew we wanted some sort of celestial imagery kind of mm -hmm. happening on the exterior of the building, and we looked at a lot of different ways to achieve that, and then we saw these tiles, and we knew that was it. That was the answer. 
But the, the tiles are absolutely remarkable. And there's 144,000 on each per hotel. Yes. On each hotel. Oh each one laid up by hand. One by one. Yeah. So it, that was one of our most, you know, our biggest concerns during the development process was, yeah. okay, we got to hit stride with this process because if we, if we lag, you know, our first day we put up nine and we all got oh a little God. scared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was supposed to be like 800 and we're like, oh boy. Oh, yeah. no. Like, because like when we walked up, the colors of those tiles were, were crazy. Mm-hmm. How do you achieve those colors in general? Yeah. Like, so how does they, that work? they all start as one stainless steel shingle and then they um, go through an acid bath. And so that turns them into this dichroic panel. And so each one is left in for maybe 10 seconds more than another one. And then it's a little bit darker. Some of them are left in, you know, a few minutes. So they change from blue to purple at that point. Point. Um, so it's really cool. They all start out exactly the same. Yeah. And then through this acid wash process, they turn into the dichroic panels that you see. How'd you decide what color went where? Like, how Well, did... that was based on the image that we had found, right? Yeah. We, we kind of z- took zones and we're like, okay, that's about 75% purple and, you know, 25% blue. And so we just kind of mapped it out. It was one of these things too, though, that we, like we, we literally were ready to go any in the, anywhere in the world to find these things. Yeah. And then when we found them... Um, it, it ended up being like 10 minutes from where I grew up in Wisconsin. So we, I, it was one of these things. What are things, the odds? I know. I, visit, I was home for Thanksgiving, and I'm like, well, as long as I'm here, I might as well yeah. stop by and see how they do this. And it was really cool. And That's it was the cool. most unassuming facility you've ever seen. It was, it's something you'd drive by a million times and not know yeah. that they're producing this amazing artwork there. It was really cool. And we do that a lot. We find amazing people in some pretty strange places. Okay, so during our walkthrough, you shared that there are three meal quick service restaurants at both Terra Luna Resort as well as Stella Nova Resort. Can you tell us more about those food offerings? Yeah, so both resorts have a three meal, so you can have your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. Um, They all have a grab-and-go market. So if you're on your way out to the park early in the morning, you just kind of grab your breakfast and go. Um, And they both have a lobby bar and a pool bar. Everything else will just be like anything at Universal. Like we have the best offerings, the chefs. I know that they'll come up with amazing, you know, food and drink offerings. Mm -hmm. And And when we were there also, uh, because you were talking about the lobby, that lobby is insane. Yeah. Yeah. It is insane. So we have no straight walls. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Because you were saying, like, uh, from the outside, it's making, like, this black hole thing that you're going in there and you see all these stars, right? Can you can you go into that a little bit? Yeah. Our portico share, we call that lovingly kind of the black hole, right? We kind of suck you into the building, um, and there's galaxy, like, uh, star pattern on the top of the portico share. But, yeah, it just kind of draws you right into the building. Um, and then you get in there, and there's all these kind of – it looks like shooting stars with our lighting that goes across. But there's not a single straight wall <laughs> – <laughs> so um, cool. It's all very organic and, um, you know, I don't know. It's a lot of fun and, you know, interesting to build. It, it's, I, I think one of the things that's exciting about a lot of our hotels and, and you're pulled into the lobby, but then once you get in there, um, you have this amazing view out. So you'll see mm-hmm. the pool area and that's, that's kind of key for us is the, the idea if you, re, you arrive with your parents, you're a little kid, you arrive with your parents that check-in process, I mean, we don't do this intentionally, but I think it's got to be a little tough for the parents. Their kids are going to yeah. be so amped yeah. when they get there. And it's going to be, can, can we go to the park right away or can we go to the pool right yeah. away? And yeah. I'm sure there's things we could have done to make that experience a little easier on the parents. But, it's, it, but it's, 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 it is yeah. the energy you're looking for, right? You just, you just came you know, from wherever to, to Orlando and you're staying at this amazing plant's a place and your your kids are energized from the mm-hmm. moment you get there like all right well I can't wait to to experience this full vacation yeah. and how do you get to the parks from there so we'll have a shuttle bus okay yep awesome. and it can take okay. you to either um, Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure or to Epic Universe oh that's great that's, that's great yeah so just direct access and you probably get early park admission with that right yep at any of the hotel stays that's cool it's pretty nice yeah yeah that's awesome. Which one, if you both were to pick, would you want to stay? I know we've kind of talked about the differences between the two. They are very similar, but there's different essences, right, between yeah. the two. We, I, yeah, we call them sister hotels, right? So there's a lot of, you know, in the guest room, it's very similar, but we change up the colors and mm-hmm. the feeling a little bit um, based on what you're at. Honestly, I, the real answer is you stay at one and then you come yep. back and stay at the other. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't, I, I, I couldn't choose, no. honestly. Yeah. The, and it's... I don't know. It, it, it would. I could see maybe weekdays stay at one, weekends stay at another, depending on your mood. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know where, which way I'd swing. Yeah, around. they're different enough that they're. Yeah. you know, they're separate experiences. Which they were sure. once we they got were, to go. Yeah. Once we went inside, we realized there is there are some differences. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you go in one, think, oh, this is cool, and you go in the other yeah. one. Whoa, they're so yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh it's also gosh. such a great 
arrival statement for the resort in general. And you, mm-hmm. when you drive up, you know, Universal Boulevard there, and you're flanked by these two properties, there's clearly. I mean, it's it's the largest entrance gate we've ever done. If you look at these two properties side by side, yeah. it's it's amazing. And those exteriors. Yeah, I feel like we saw some Easter eggs as we were walking through with you, Jessica. You know, some things that caught our eye, especially like the windows and the rooms, how rounded and beautiful they are. Are there any other Easter eggs that the two of you are excited for guests to experience? I mean, I think that just speaking again in the exteriors, um, we talked about there being lights. There's some panels that are left that stainless steel, and then we've put the lights Mm -hmm. um, on each of those panels. We didn't really want to uplight the entire building um, architecturally. We wanted to spotlight. And so at night when those lights turn on, it just looks like a starry night, a constellation. Um, And there may be a celestial park constellation (laughs) um, on one of our exteriors. Um, But yeah, like just kind of creating that, I don't know, that focus when you drive Mm -hmm. up at night and see the the constellation is fun. Um, We did actually, you know, Universal is known for its show elements, our magic that we create in our attractions. And so we haven't ever put that into a hotel before. So Mm -hmm. that was something that we wanted to incorporate in um, one of these hotels. So there'll be some aerial projection that you'll get to see. Yeah. We'll look out for that. Yeah. (laughs) No, it's it's really fun. I mean, we've seen it. We've, We've played with it during the night and gone mm-hmm. out and looked at it and it's we haven't kind of unveiled that to the public yet but when that when that happens it'll be a, a second big you know buzz in the market that this is what it looks like at night yeah so and big. and something i feel like uh, I, I don't want to undersell by any means is the view out of the windows cuz we got to go in mm-hmm. uh, inside uh, one of the rooms and 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 because of the shape of the window it almost feels like you're on a spaceship yep. looking out towards the rest of florida which I thought was really, really yeah. interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the the rooms clearly have this futuristic feel to them as well. It's futuristic yet comfortable. comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not, it, it, it would be really easy or it could, it, it would have been easy to, to make a mistake and, and make it too austere, but it's, it's a really compelling, comfortable guest room and the imagery in the guest room as well. Again, we've got that, that same, um, the galaxy inspired imagery that we've got outside or that inspired the outside is actually mm-hmm. brought into the guest room as well and really kind of pulls that together as well. Wonderful. We're, we are very excited yeah, to go stay sure. there. I mean, sure. even just seeing it in person. So thank you for sharing a little bit more of the details behind these resorts and we can't wait to stay there early 2025. Yeah. We'll see you there. Thanks for be being great. here guys. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. having us. <laughs> Well, that was awesome having Jessica and Russ on here, wasn't it? That was great. It was. Yeah, they were great and shared all the details of these resorts. And I can't wait to experience it here very soon, which I know Michelle has our dates. Michelle, when do these two hotels open? I do. So Universal Stella Nova Resort opens on January 21st, 2025. And Universal Terra Luna Resort opens February 25th, 2025. That feels really soon, doesn't yeah. it? Really soon. Yeah, I feel like the year's flying by. I know we yeah, got like, the parade open up and everything, so I feel like it's going to be really quick. Where oh, that, for sure, yeah. yeah. And we can book our stay now, you I can. believe. Yeah. I'm going to do that tonight. Okay. I'm going uh, home, can you, I'm going to book it. Yeah, just do another one so I can stay All right, there. all right, yeah. 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 <laughs> we'll add a link in the show yeah, notes so yeah, that yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. who's listening or watching <laughs> we'll all look. book yeah. it together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we'll see who gets the best room. Yes. Dylan. Well, you're getting competitive, which is perfect timing for our game. Yeah. So we have to do a game, as always, on these episodes. Michelle, what game are we playing today? Okay, so we're going to play a game where we all have to help each other try to guess. So we'll put a card up on your forehead. Okay. And you'll, both of you, so if I have the card on my forehead, both of you will have to describe what's on my forehead okay. without giving me the words that are on my forehead. So you can't say any of the words that are there. You can say there's two words. You can describe what it is. And then I'll have to guess what it is. We'll have one minute on the clock. Okay. And you're going to run through as many cards as possible. I think we have four each here. So that's max number of points. And we'll maybe do a tiebreaker. So we'll see. All right. Okay. okay. Well, All I'm right. in. Let's go. Okay. I think Dylan should go first. Oh, yes. He's the most competitive about Definitely. this. Well, I didn't, okay. You ready? No. Let's go. <laughs> you got this. Yeah. Let me know when. Uh. Oh, this is where you play Uh-oh. as a kid. Mostly adults can play here uh, too. Adults can play here too. You sometimes need coins. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's the inside game of the room. hotel. Yes. 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 Boom. Okay. Next. Next. Oh. Okay. Speaking of children, 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can, um, you can also play here. There's but water. It's, yes. It's the, the splash pad. Yes. yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's go. Wow, let's go. Good. Let's go. Oh, my oh. gosh. <laughs> also, kind of for children, but yeah. also for the whole family. Mm-hmm. This is in the water. After at the dark. pool. And the, this is where you watch the something. Show? No. no. Uh, you watch your favorite cinema masterpieces in a pool. Uh, and, okay, okay, okay. And this is so something, an activity that you do into the, I, the a pool into so the you're water. In, you're in it. Yeah, you're in and the pool. you're you're seeing the jumping. Cinema. You're jumping, mm-hmm. but not jumping. <laughs> jumping in. Oh <laughs> no! Wait, the best. It was a diving movie. <laughs> diving. I, I didn't couldn't know say that in. Is. I was like, I know. Jump. I know. Okay. So, yeah, but job. you didn't even so, say movie. So what's that? I thought, what's that? So put that to the side. You so have okay. two. Two. Okay. Cool, that's uh, it's good, right? That was, good. that was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Cassie, you go next. I'll go last. All right. Ready? Okay. All right. So, <laughs> there's one hotel and there's another. Uh-huh. The, Terra the Luna. One, oh, oh, my uh, gosh. Too good easy. job. Too easy. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, kind of similar. Similar. There's a place there that you can go and get a drink if you're of 21 years of age. The bar. The lobby bar. Close. The, what, what's, the name of, what's the name of what's the name of the hotel? Uh, the Stella Nova. The other one. The one you said Terra already. Luna Bar. Close. Luna Bar. Boom. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good job. Oh wow. Okay. Um, how do you get to Universal Studios Florida and Universal Islands Adventure? Car, bus, plane. What are all of those? All of those combined. transportation. Yes. yes. Now, if it's free. Free transportation. <laughs> Close. One more word. What's a, what's a better word? Complimentary for- yes! transportation. Yeah, good job. Okay. Good job. Oh, um, uh, you like coffee. I like coffee sometimes. Uh, and you can. Oh, it's Cosmos Cafe and Market. Okay, so I'm, I'm already losing. That's great. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. Well, Cassie's up by one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. You ready, Michelle? Oh, man. Lots of pressure. Take a breath. We're ready. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Right. I'm ready. Okay. Ready? And. Oh, work out. This is where you work out. Fitness. You, yes. But it's the area where you do this. Fitness center. Yep. Boom. Next. Oh. Oh, okay. This is the, the other new resort yeah, coming you, to w- yeah. Universal Helios Grand Hotel, a Lowe's Hotel. Yes. Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, this is, uh, this is this the is one that's one in space. The, oh, the, the, the one hotel of the two that's hotels. in space. Uh, Terra Luna. No. Yeah. The in other space. one. The, the other one. Stella Nova. Yes. Boom. Oh, oh, is she going <gasps> to get it? This is what you do in the morning to First get thing. into the the. When you stay place, at one of the hotels, you Epic get a Universe. perk. You get a perk you and you can go in, straight in. In the oh, morning. Early park admission. Yes. Bam. Woo! I told yes! you, I told you, Michelle, Michelle. always wins. Okay. I, I will say I have to give it to you guys for the really fantastic descriptions, though. Thank You're you. Welcome. That was really good. Gold stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Team effort. See? Team effort. Yeah. So I, I'm just the worst one, though. That's all. Neither of us won this time. It's okay. We're still, we're still neck and neck. We're still friends yep. sometimes. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good job. That was so fun. Yeah. Nice. I feel like Michelle always wins these games. She does. I told you. Did I not yeah. say that? But you did. But together, collectively, together, yeah. we beat her. Yeah. Our so. powers combined beat Michelle. So. You know. Take, maybe. Take that, uh, friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll yeah. see what happens next time. Exactly. Well, do uh, you want to get into the Take 5 Rewind? I think it's time. We covered a lot, so we might as well just recap it for everyone. Okay. Let's do it. Number five is Price Point. This is a affordable option for the whole entire family with great benefits. Number four, we have our theme park benefits. So, of course, you get your early park admission, but you also have a short bus ride to any of the parks on property. Number three, we have some amazing resort-style amenities, and so make sure to take advantage of those during your stay, including food and the pool. Number two, we have proximity to Universal Epic Universe. We have a lot of hotels on property, but these two are extremely close to Epic Universe. And number one, there's an amazing story at both of these hotels, so make sure to take in all of the details across, as well as the exterior details, which we talked to Jessica and Russ about. Those tiles are absolutely incredible. 
Well, thank you, Dylan, as always, for joining me today. Thank you, Cassie. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you to Jessica and to Russ as well for joining us. Thank you to the amazing team that we have here. And thank you for listening. As always, all the details are available in the show notes below. And don't forget to book your stay for both these amazing hotels. We'll see you soon. You got it. (laughs) (laughs) That's your blooper for this episode. Ay, ay, ay.